Welcome everyone to Market Mornings brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com. This update is for Friday, April 21, 2023. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. As we get started here, keep in mind that everything we look at is for educational purposes. Nothing's meant to be advice or recommendations. If you like what you see here, folks, make sure you follow along with all the various social platforms. Subscribe here on YouTube. Ring that bell so you get notifications of all of our trainings as they come out. And let's go ahead and jump in. So what do we have today, economic report-wise? We've got the PMI coming out, which is at 9.45. The market is open. Caution, if you're entering trades before that time period, this could have a dramatic effect on that overall. Right, when we go and look at the futures, let's see where we're at. So see a red again. So the ES is down 7, the Dow is down 22, NASDAQ's down 48, RUT's down 2. Bitcoin, woo, but just about 28K, maybe we're just barely there. Uh, to the downside again, Ethereum 1914, we broke that 2000, gold is down 20 and crude is up a whole 19 cents at 77.57. I'll take the 77 half on crude all day long. So when we go look at our candidates, let's start off with the S&P 500. It is a Friday. We always have fewer candidates. It's uh, always a, a, a fun game on Fridays to find them. So we were down yesterday below the eight moving average. We're down again yet this morning on the S&P. That eight is critical, right? It is critical. If we cannot get above the eight in the 41.45, I'm looking at 40.94 as the next downside target where there is confluence right now with the 21 moving average. So a lot of added strength in that area. Badu or Baidu, right? Uh, they are down this morning. They got a maintain from UBS, which was not good for them. Uh, for that rating on their down, which was really considered more of a downgrade for them, the way it came out. So uh, we're down right now on Baidu to 125 and a half. So I'm going to look at a bear call spread above uh, 131. H U M Humana. A good overall pattern to the downside. They had coverage initiated. They are up. But how much? They're up four dollars and sixty-nine cents to four ninety-five. We've got four ninety-seven above our head here. I am not excited about this at all. I'm gonna say next on this one. PPG is all over the place today. We've got earnings. We've got upgrades. Um, but earnings was the biggest driving force for them. They're up a dollar twenty-nine, hundred forty-four dollars even. Uh, it's actually no. It's that's uh, last price. My bad. One forty-four is the current price. Nope, hold on. Last is 142.74. There we go. So let's get a little bit of a bigger picture here. See the entire fib? Okay, that fib is good. Very wide fib channel in there too. So 142.74. We're right up in here. 139.40. So we're going to look at a bull put spread below 140, which is our eight moving average. Tesla, not a big move for them. Uh, actually, they're only up 51 cents right now. Uh, if we look at them, they're gapped down. We could get a, a bounce off of that 162. Right now, we're at 163 half. Right, so we're up a little bit from where we... Uh, actually, we're down a little bit from where we were. 160, 163 half, my bad. 163 half. So 162.99 is where we closed. So we could look at a bull put spread below 162 i would be doing it aggressive i just so you know i'm not doing a spread on this today i like tesla one of my top three that i like to trade so i'll be looking at this for a directional option trade today pull back to the 162 bounce i'll take the bullish entry break the 162 come back and retest it fail i'll take the bearish entry united healthcare is also on my list day in and day out uh they had coverage initiated on them they're up two dollars and four cents four eighty nine and a half Right, they're in a bearish bias uh, of where we're at right now. 489 half doesn't get me back above that level. So I'm gonna look at an option trade only. I will take the pullback to the three the 484 level and a bounce, take the bullish entry, break the 484-ish level, pull back and fail. I'll take the bearish entry. It's a switchback type setup. 
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the Friday. Watch that 945 update. Make sure you go ahead over to wealthbuildershq.com and get yourself registered for Brandon's class today, which is Trading Coaches Playbook. We do every Friday at noon. Do not miss out on what we've got planned for you today. All right, take care, everybody. Good trading, and I will see all of you on Monday. Bye for now.